The Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle, is reportedly fuming after her passion project, a low-budget independent film titled The Plight of the Duchess, was snubbed by the prestigious Olivier Awards. The film, which reportedly chronicles the struggles of a fictional duchess navigating the pressures of public life, was not included in any of the award categories for the upcoming 2024 ceremony. This has sparked a firestorm of controversy, with some questioning the legitimacy of the Olivier Awards and others suggesting Markle's royal status may have influence the decision. The Olivier Awards, often dubbed the British Tonys, celebrate excellence in London theatre. However, in recent years, the awards have expanded to include recognition for outstanding television performances and, for the first time in 2024, independent films with a theatrical release. The Plight of the Duchess reportedly had a limited theatrical run in a small London cinema, making it eligible for consideration. Markle's supporters are crying foul, suggesting the film's exclusion is a personal attack on the Duchess. Social media is is abuzz with accusations of bias and a royal snub. Some even suggest a deliberate attempt to sabotage Markle's burgeoning film career. However, a closer look reveals a more nuanced picture. Firstly, the Olivier Awards have a rigorous selection process, hundreds of productions v for recognition each year, and the competition is fierce. The plight of the Duchess, while perhaps a personal project for Markle, may simply not have met the high artistic standards set by the awards. Critics' reviews have been mixed, with some praising Markle's commitment to the role, but finding the script derivative and the overall production lacking polish. Secondly, the inclusion of independent films in the Olivier Awards is a new experiment. The selection committee might have prioritized established independent filmmakers with a proven track record over a newcomer like Markle, especially for a film with a subject matter that some might perceive as self-indulgent. Furthermore, accusations of bias against the Duchess seem unfounded. The Olivier Awards have a long history of recognizing diverse talent, and royal connections have never been a guaranteed path to recognition. In fact, several high-profile productions with prominent actors have been passed over in the past. This incident highlights the challenges Markle faces as she carves a new path in Hollywood. Her association with the British royal family undoubtedly generates interest but it can also create a double standard. Her work will be scrutinized more intensely than that of other actors, and any perceived misstep will be amplified. Markle's supporters argue that she deserves to be judged solely on her acting merits. While this is true, it's naive to believe her past doesn't play a role in public perception. She must prove herself not just as a talented actress but also as someone who can navigate the complexities of the film industry without relying on her royal connections or resorting to victimhood narratives. The Olivier Awards snub, if anything, is a wake-up call for Markle. It's an opportunity to demonstrate a resilience and commitment to her craft. True success in Hollywood will rely on her ability to deliver strong performances, choose compelling projects, and build bridges within the industry. Whether she can overcome this setback and silence her critics remains to be seen. One thing is certain. The path to Hollywood stardom for Meghan Markle will be anything but a royal walk